between, like here, right here. He was all the way, he was inside of here. Tony Beckham shows where he saw the man outside his Wellington home, looking into his 15-year-old daughter's window. And I waited for a second, and then I looked again. And I'm looking, and then I see a, a white male, you know, he's standing by my window, and he's trying to get a better position. He says the man had his pants partially down and was fondling himself. I couldn't believe that. I'm like, is this for real? Like, I thought I was getting punked. You know, like, this is not happening to me. Beckham yelled at the man who then tried to run away. He didn't get very far. Beckham used to play in the NFL. He's an athlete. I called him, like, a department over there, and then and we just had a good conversation. After a good conversation, this is the guy police arrested, Jeffrey Cassidy. Police say his conversation with Beckham left him with multiple broken bones in his face. I'm sorry that it happened for me, you know, I'm sorry it happened for him, because uh, he's never going to do that again on this side of town. I came out through the patio door, okay. and Tony had him sit him over here on the curb. Amanda Beckham called police and within hours installed darker blinds in the windows so nobody could see in on her children. And if he was that brave to do it right here, I know this is not the first time he's done this before. Shout out to the advice show, Phil Scott. But this is very sick, um, what this guy just got caught doing. And, you know, I don't know if they're going to do a media circus or this or make a documentary about uh, white men perversion and all that stuff. Because you know what they're doing to R. Kelly. I'm not trying to deflect. I'm not stepping up for R. Kelly. I know he did some sick things back in the day. But they're just using him as a proxy, as a mascot right now. They're just trying to excuse all the white guys' and behaviors and what they do. That's why I'm glad Tarina she started the first them um, hashtag, and you know it gets trending a lot. It'd be, it'd be like 400 or 500 tweets or like per day. And he makes sure he stay on their acid. That's why they really don't like him. But this guy was very sick, and I'm glad the father had a conversation with him and beat the crap out of him. And I hope they throw this guy under the bus too. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video. I'll talk to you next one.